hello thank you for joining us in this video we are going to solve the first question of the WASI 2023 that is written by the Ghanaian students we are solving the question one of the elective mathematics paper if you want the other solutions check the playlist that this video is in you can check the description or click the link above so the question given to us is this 2x squared plus xy minus 3y squared is equal to 9 and we are finding the y the, the x at the point 1 and 6 so this is an implicit differentiation and you, re you recall that we are differentiating with respect to x so when we differentiate x we don't have any problem but when we differentiate y, we need to indicate that we are not intentionally differentiating y, but we are differentiating y with respect to x. So we indicate the y dx there to show that we are actually differentiating y with respect to x. So let's begin with the 2x squared. When we differentiate 2x squared, since there's no y there, we get 4x. But when we differentiate y we have to indicate that it is not intentional we are actually doing it with respect to x and it happened that we are differentiating y in it so this is a product so what we do is that we hold one variable so let's hold the x first so x then we differentiate the other differentiate the y the x we differentiate y it, it will give us one and multiply it by the y the x because we have to indicate that we are not intentionally differentiating y. We are actually differentiating with respect to x. Then we come to the term of y. We hold the y and differentiate the x. That one is allowed. So times 1. Then we come to the second, uh, the um, third term. So minus, if we differentiate 3y squared, we get 6y. But we have to again show that we are actually differentiating with respect to x. Then when you differentiate the 9, it's 0. So all that you're going to do now is to group the dy dx on one side. So we have x dy dx, then minus 6y dy dx is equal to now we send the y there, send the x, 4x there. So we have negative 4x minus y all over. Okay. So we have not factored this one. So let's factor before we divide. So it's equal to negative 4x minus y. So let's factor the y dx from here. So you're going to get the y dx the outside. Then we will have x then minus 6y is equal to negative 4x minus y. So dividing through by x minus 6y, we will get x minus 6y here. So now we are finding the value of dy dx at this point. So dy dx at x equal 1 and y equals 6. We just substitute the values there to be equal to negative 4 times 1 minus 6 all over and 1 minus 6 times 6. So that will give us negative 4 minus 6, negative 10 all over 1 minus 36, which is negative 35. So 5 will go here. Negative 5 will go here 2 times. Negative 5 will go into this 7 times. So divide the x at 1 and 6 will be 2 over 7. So check the playlist for the second, video, uh, second solution, the second video. That is the solution to the second question. See you in this video.